Hi, and welcome to Trigva. This video will go over some of the basic features within the Trigva app. We will go over the map, how to contribute to posted events, how to create an event, your feed, how to create and join groups, the personal safety alarm, notifications, and some account settings. First, let's look at the map. After registering, the first thing you will see when you open Trigva is the map. You can zoom in and out and move wherever you like and the corresponding pins to that area will show up on your screen. The pins have different symbols depending on their category and they have different colours depending on their priority. We will go over these a little later on. How to contribute to posted events. To preview an event, simply tap it once. If you're done, tap anywhere on the map or swipe down to minimise it. If you want to see the event in full, tap it again. Here you can see the event information as well as who posted it and user comments and acknowledgements. You can acknowledge an event to let the user know that you've seen it and to thank them for posting. You can comment on an event to help out with the situation. You can also share public events outside Trigva via text message, email, WhatsApp and social media platforms. You can also copy the event link if you prefer. To return to the map, tap the top left arrow. How to create an event. You can post an event onto the map by tapping the pin with the addition symbol in it here. Next, choose what type of event it is, such as a warning, an inquiry, something you found, or something missing. You can also post an emergency event. If you post a non-emergency event, the next step is choosing where the event is located. You can pin it to your position by tapping the location arrow, you can move the pin around, or you can enter a specific address here. If the event affects a general area rather than a specific location, select Approximate Location. Next, tell people a little bit about the event. Did you witness an assault? Can you describe the suspect? You can add images to your post too. Next, how urgent is your post? Select the priority as low, medium or high. This affects who will receive a push notification about your event. You can edit the category if you need to. Lastly, who do you want to see your event? If this event only affects people in one or a few of your groups, select those groups. If this is something you feel anyone in the area should know about, select Public. If you do select Public, your post can be viewed by anyone and nearby users will receive a notification. Then hit Create to make your event live. If your event is an emergency, you will go to a screen where there is an option to fast track your post if you do not have time to describe it. This will automatically post as a public event and nearby users will receive a notification. If you can add specifics, select Add More Info and follow the same process as before. Your feed. Your feed is located here. Your feed displays posts from your groups and public events in the one place so you can easily gauge what's happening around you. You can tap into events directly from the feed if you want. The Trigva team will sometimes post information in here as well. How to create and join groups. Trigva groups allow you to have private conversations with select users and to have the option to post events only to them. A lot of people use groups for family and friends, community groups they're a part of, or residential areas. You can access your groups here. If you haven't joined or created any groups, this will be empty. Hit join or create a group. You can join groups by browsing through the list or searching a group name. Groups are open, locked or private. 
Groups with no icon are open, meaning you can join straight away. If a group has a padlock icon, it is a locked group and you will need permission from the group administrator to join. You can request to join by tapping request to join. Private groups are not visible here. To join a private group, you will need to be directly invited by the group administrator. If you want to create your own group, tap the word new. Type your group name, its description, and then select whether you want your group to be open, locked or private. Once your group is created, you will always find it in Groups. When you tap on the group, you will see the chat forum first. If you hit the two cogs in the top right hand corner, it will take you to the group settings. In group settings, you can add or edit your group image, add or edit your group's policy, turn off notifications and invite members to join your group. The personal safety alarm. This nifty tool allows you to notify your groups or nearby public that you're in trouble and need help. You can find it here. You can set your alarm to a timer. Say for example you're walking home alone from the train station at night and you know it should take no more than 10 minutes. You can set your timer to 10 and select who will receive your alarm if the timer lapses. Your timer will begin counting down straight away. If you need more time, simply tap plus five min. Or if you find yourself in trouble, you can bypass the timer and send out your alarm instantly. Those receiving your alarm will get a push notification alerting them of your location and that you need help. Notifications. Tapping here will take you to your notifications. Here, you can see a variety of activity, such as any updates in events relevant to you, group invitations that you need to respond to, or whether someone has joined your group. Account settings. Tapping more will take you to this page. Tapping settings will take you to some options to customize your Trigva experience. You can alter your password, change your region, and alter your push notification settings. So, that's the Trigva Basics in a nutshell. Enjoy the app and thank you for joining the community movement to help build a stronger, safer society.